Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT University. So at this time we are talking about HDPCA, HDP Certified Administrator and uh, we are still doing the prerequisites for uh, installing the Hadoop cluster. Uh, so in this video we will try to update our uh, hosts file uh, with the uh, IP addresses with the names we have provided in AWS console. So these are the names which we have provided and we will try to set up Etsy host file uh, mapping to the private IP addresses and uh, uh, then we will go further next we will set up the uh, uh, SSH forwarding so that we can actually connect uh, using private IPs uh, rather than the changing public IPs uh, for uh, uh, these five uh, EC2 instances, master1, master2, work1, work, worker2, worker3, etc. So let's go ahead. So first thing is I need to get the all the private addresses. So I will get one. Okay. And then I will open the text edit. So if you are using Windows, you can uh, uh, you need to update uh, host file uh, using different uh, approach. You have to go to a particular location in system directory where you will have etc and then host. If you use Sigwin, it's pretty straightforward, and uh, that's why I always encourage you guys to set up Sigwin on your Windows laptops so that you can access um, the Windows files uh, files also similar to the Linux, Sigwin is, the, is a Linux terminal and if you are not familiar with it about how to set up and how to uh, access etc host file and all those things you can go to my channel and there is a playlist So click on the playlists and then if you expand this and search for Microsoft Windows for IT professionals and these are the videos which you need to follow. And then once you have these things, so you have to open Sigwin as administrator and you can actually uh, update the host file by using uh, VIETC host or any other um, editor, nano editor or VI editor, whatever uh, you prefer to. Okay, so I always uh, recommend you to use Sigwin. If you don't want to use Sigwin, then you have to identify where the host file uh, in Windows like this and you have to update that file. So now I am trying to copy paste this IP address. So there are six, so I am pasting six of them. 8, 9, 40, 41, 42 and I want to name them as HDP23 Bastion HDP23 Master01 HDP23 master 02 HDP23 worker 01 HDP23 worker 02 and HDP23 worker 03 okay and also I want to give the public DNS. 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 I want to give the
want to create alias for the public DNS as well. Yeah, public DNS I don't need to I just I will just uh, access using like that and also sometimes we we want to use the private DNS rather than private IP private DNS is nothing but uh, it did it is derived from private IP so if I select private DNS also you, you can see the private DNS here and if you see it is derived from the private IP so private IP is 172 31 53 37 separated by dot here so they prefix with ip minus and then replace with the dots with minuses and then they suffix with dot ec2 internal okay so we will We will give this one also as part of our alias. We have to change some things after pasting. I will take care of it. Okay. So I have. Uh, I replaced the things now I have to copy these things and open if you are using uh, Mac you have to uh, uh, even Linux you have to say sudo via etc host in in the terminal and then if it prompts for the password you have to give the password and then you can actually paste those things okay now you have the host spell updated and if you ping it will not work the reason is it is using private ips but you can ping the public ip what is our public ip our public ip our public dns is this one okay and also you have seen that we can ssh using public ip okay so now there is a concept called ssh forwarding if you want to understand more about it again uh, uh, go to actually you can search on my channel ssh forwarding and you will find a video set up ssh forwarding i will also try to provide a bookmark as part of the video you can look into this and you will understand what ssh forwarding is okay and then what you have to do is you have to say ssh minus k let me clear it so you have to run command called ssh minus add minus k and you have to add the pem file which pem file uh, um, the pem of uh, uh, the pem used to set up uh, our instances which is called as hdp23.pem okay and we add it now you can say ssh ec2 user at you have to give the public ip which is this one paste and hit enter So once you log in, now you can actually SSH to the other instances which use, which are using the same uh, PEM file. So you can say ec2 minus user at ip 172.31.53 dot dot sorry 31 minus 53 minus 38 and hit enter.
sorry you have to do it a little bit differently yeah from your pc when you connect to the public uh, uh, the, uh, the bastion with public ip static ip you have to say ssh minus ca and hit enter then what will happen is your ssh key will be forwarded to the remote instance and now if you say ssh ec to user and the ip address you are able to connect uh, to it without providing the password you can exit and 39 you can try every uh, to every server and it works as expected so this is how you can set up the uh, ssh forwarding so that you can access all the nodes in the cluster through uh, command line okay and also you have to set up something called foxy proxy so here you can go means if you again uh, want to understand the, the foxy proxy setup you can search for foxy proxy in my channel and uh, you can see it here okay so if you are using windows also i have covered uh, in these videos so just uh, search for it and you can actually take care of these things in windows also okay now to set up the foxy proxy i just have to download foxy proxy firefox you can get it for any browser i am using firefox so i am actually downloading the foxy proxy okay it is asking me to restart and i have restarted it once it is restarted you will see this icon here okay and then you have to add the foxy proxy for aws for that what you have to do is you can go to google foxy proxy aws you can use this link Yeah, this one configure proxy settings to view websites hosted on the master node and then you have to copy this one and create a foxy proxy settings dot xml so on my pc on my home directory or I will actually create under the dot ec. I will create another directory mkdar aws, and then in that I will create the file foxy proxy settings dot xml. You can give it any name, but I am following the same name what they have recommended. And once that is done, click on this and uh, click on add new proxy okay so i have to go to firefox add-ons so firefox where is the add-ons i think tools add-ons and then once add-ons there is a foxy proxy standards choose options okay i have to go to foxy proxy standard options okay once that is uh, once you are in the options in the foxy proxy standard dialog choose file import settings so
tools foxy proxy standard where is the file import settings okay once you click on foxy proxy uh, options once this comes up you have to click on file and then import settings and then you have to give the location of the file from which you want to import and click on yes yes it will restart the browser and now if you click on this one and now if you click on uh, tools proxy proxy standard you can see use pro uh, uh, proxy emr socks proxy for all urls if you do that then it will change the icon here and uh, uh, now if you try to access the internet it will not work until you do the ssh forwarding okay now you can try google.co.in and it it fails because i am not doing any ssh port forwarding so that we will see later but for now we have set up the environment we have set up the ssh uh, tunneling wherein uh, you can uh, uh, access all the uh, hosts with the private ips from the bastion server and also we have covered ssh uh, port forwarding using uh, foxy proxy so after setting up the cluster if we have to access certain uh, 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 logs using private IP addresses will be doing the uh, uh, port forwarding and then we will be using foxy proxy to access those web services now I am completely disabling foxy proxy so if it is disabled the icon will show, show up like uh, like this okay now if I try to access the internet it will work okay so we um, after this we will actually uh, start setting up the uh, the first topic as part of the certification which is creating the local HDP repository and then we will uh, continue further that being said I hope you are enjoying the content on the channel if you like this video please click on the like button if you want to provide the feedback please use the comment section of the video and uh, if you want to discuss further about certifications please join my LinkedIn group ITVersity minus certifications if you have any technical questions you you can uh, ask those questions on stack overflow as well um, by providing appropriate tags so that uh, your questions are answered quickly and finally if you are not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will get to see a lot more content like this over time thank you bye